People would have run to the basket, not the lane, <laughs> not back. They would have had five guys standing underneath the goal. <laughs> How's They're, Eloy doing, John? Doing okay. It's been a great experience for him, you know. Need that light ball to go off like it did with Josh, you know, just do three a days. I mean, Rondo was doing three a days. That's why he's with the Celtics and other guys are not with the Celtics. Why? He was in the gym at 11 o'clock at night shooting. Sound familiar? Brandon Knight, John Wall, Tyreek Evans, Derek. I mean, do you love it or not? He does. How about Eloy? Have you seen any difference from last season to this summer in terms of uh, the light bulb and, and the zeal? We'll see. Deal? I think so. I think so. I think he's gotten stronger and all that. But you got to get on that court here in Kentucky and you got to perform. There's no, boy, he looks good stuff. No one really cares. They just. You can be roly poly, and if you get it done, they love you. Is there any concern for you that. Now, who do you think I was talking about? I was just saying that, and all of a sudden, can you tell me what I was thinking? People tell me what I think. Like, here's what he meant. I don't know. Is there any concern for you that, although it's. Probably talking about myself. <laughs> it's a critical tune up for your team. You're playing against guys that don't have a coach, and they're just going to walk out there that it could get a they little have, round. They got two coaches, and both of them are. One's in the Hall of Fame, one should be in the Hall of Fame. And I don't know how many Final Fours or national titles those two have combined, but I'd like to know another state that can say these two coaches in this state have done this. Now, you could do it with John Wooden, but you can take any coach, okay? But I'm saying aside from him, those two coaches, national titles, Final Four, in their span, incredible. So they'll be there. And, and both of them are still competitive. It's funny. Do we get we get a practice day before, we get some shoot around time, what do we have, what are we going to do, how are we going to do this? You know, I'm like, no, you get nothing, just throw it in. <laughs> so recently, I don't know when you actually said it, but it recently came out that you said Duran was your best player. Yeah, here's what I meant, okay? Duran's not the fastest guy we have, he's not the biggest guy we have, he's not the quickest guy we have, he's not the greatest with the ball. What he is, as you saw in the Connecticut game, he has a feel for the game and lets the game come to him and he plays it the way the game's played. Now, if he comes back in a great shape, if he comes back and he improved his ball game and he's gotten better, he'll be a top 15 player. That's what I believe. But I also look at Darius Miller, and who showed signs at times last year of being what we all thought he could be and ends up getting the MVP in our conference tournament. He's now playing in China, doing fine. Those people say he's really playing well. I think we're playing him at like a four position, which is fine. Um, but he's, Terrence Jones walked through and all of a sudden he's got this new body, so now he's walking around without a shirt on everywhere, looking at himself in mirrors and looking at the TV to see if he can see himself at the, the glare. I mean, you know, he's on a mission. I mean, there's guys that are, you know, the young kids coming in there. You know, Eloy's doing this thing. so. Best basketball, see this, this is not track, it's not the decathlon, this is basketball. The best player we have who has a feel for the game is the run. Now, will he be in great shape? Will he come back here on a mission? Will he be the first in practice? Will he come in nights and do all the stuff like Rondo's doing by himself? In the morning, in the evening, will he do that? If he does that, he's a top 15 player. Now if he doesn't, that's nothing, all bets are off. Didn't the mic only get to come over for him at the end of the year? I hope so, because I think he's a terrific player. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction to the NCAA proposal about keeping teams out of the NCAA tournament based on APR? It's fine. It's fine. You know, we had a 3.14 grade point average last term. We had 10 scholarship players. We had nine over a 3-0. We had two guys had a 4-0. This summer, I think it was a 2-8 grade point average. You know, we've established what we are academically. I'm not bothered by it. If that's what they choose to do, and that's fine. Why the Young Center and not Freedom Hall? Freedom Hall had a um, concert. We checked. That's where we were going to go. Any, any reaction? We asked them to move Lady Gaga, but they wouldn't move her. <laughs> <laughs> any reaction so when the Louisville fans, the fans are saying, you know, that whole deal and using our own floor? I don't know. I'm not, I, don't, I don't pay attention to any of it, so I don't know. But it's the only place that we could play that had the size that we needed. So, but we checked, like I said, Freedom Hall was the first, we want to play in Freedom Hall, they got a concert, so we couldn't. 
Do the proceeds go to uh, pay for the training camp for the yeah, guys? Th here? These guys invest in. You have to understand they they had to pay off a debt to FIBA that was owed. To have me coach this team, they had to do it here. Then they get hit in the head with insurance, which the NBA usually would cover, but well, they're not covering anymore. We have NBA players. So they've gotten whacked around. And the reason we were doing the first game was, let's just see if we, if we can help them recoup some stuff. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. So, But it's, you know, the insurance of the NBA players, very expensive, that are playing in the game. So it's, it's, it's not doing what you think it will do for them, but at least they know we're trying to help them that way.